the network. So how do you see, like, if let's say I do collect like couple highlight angles and everything from, are you talking about different shows or a specific show that deserves its own highlight? No, or- no, no. Be clear. When I said highlight, I'm talking about the highlights on your Instagram page and using that highlights to to better tell your story as opposed to capturing random stuff that you get um, done. A lot of people just say, hey, I got some tracks. I, I, I post that my link is on Spotify today and let me collect that in the highlight or ooh, Apple, Spotify, SoundCloud, right? Um, or just, just random things and it's not thought out enough. It, it gets poorly used. You can tell an actual story like, you, the highlights, the beauty of that is like the story, right? You have the entire screen, you have their attention. While you have that attention, lead them somewhere. Don't just give them a collection of, of things to to scroll through, right? It's not a, don't use it as a record. Your, your news feed can have some record aspect to it, but your highlights need to be used more as a story because the highlights really are capturing the story Use your story to actually tell some kind of story. Like storytelling is the game. So how do you using how are you using like uh, angles from different shows to tell a story overall? The performances angles. The angles are depend like that depends on what, what you're trying to do. Like that's a style thing where it depends on the brand when we're talking about what angles you want to shoot from. You need to think, don't even be wrapped up in angles right now understand what you want to communicate like what do you want to say like do i just want to capture shows and just say hey this is me at this show this is me at that show this is me at that show because that's what everybody usually does look at me here look at me there look at me there no one really cares right like how do you tell that like if you're not already a big artist or it's not really for real super crazy and it just looks really interesting how can you make people care regardless and that's the context that you create around the story so why why is that meaningful? What's the journey? What are the words that you put within it? You can go back to my to my IG page and go look at that that uh highlight of my my festival again, right? Everything isn't just pictures of um from the festival. Everything isn't just a video from the festival. You can also look at the video and how it went through a certain specific journey. But some things are just literally a black screen with specific words but the words are chosen for a reason right even as opposed to saying event recap and saying memory lane as that triggers a different type of thing in your head and the way you speak the personality with the words you use that helps create your voice and gets people into the world of the story that you're telling Mm -hmm. is that like too abstract for you or do you get it practically i get it in a sense of let's say like this this philly show coming up uh and i were to like create a vlog i guess like a vlog documentary style on my phone like if i record on my regular camera and then i take that narrative of like me like this along with the footages of performances from mentions uh, along with behind the scenes or like you know different things to tell a story and then put that as a highlight after editing it up so it tells a bigger narrative no like your biggest issue is you keep starting with what the content that you have as opposed to knowing what the story is you want to tell and let that inform what you capture so the story doesn't sometimes the story come in the moment or after everything it is- can but you have to pay attention to that and then you expand on that but it's not just about collecting oh i got a whole bunch of things together i will right we'll, we'll spend some more time on it actually capture some shit and when you have some shit to capture that we can work with then we can literally just say and you can see the difference all right so, so how just- should i how should i think heading into this philly show with my camera squad and everything to like Understand, for one, understand whatever the, the environment looks like. What's the stage look like? What's the crowd look like? And then you feel, figure out what you want to be presented as. Like, how do you want them to, how do you want to feel? What what character do you want to present there? So they 
Like, and they can capture, all right, do they want to, are, are you going to be in the crowd? Are you going to jump off the stage? All right. So if you know you're going to do that, planning some of these things out, then, all right, I don't want you to just be behind on the side of the stage or recording me from far back in the crowd. I'm going to probably hop off the stage or just hop into the crowd and then run through. And, and so plan for them to be right there. Let them know some specific things that you're going to do and let them capture those things to follow you. All right. Or you can say, Hey man, I want you to follow me closely and I want you to get me from afar so we can at least switch back from two angles. It's more of that, that, that practice portion of it that's going to help you long-term. Like, like the, the biggest difference that I had with, with my festival, I had two times where it was trash in terms of the, the post event production. The first time, was like, it was just free for all and really didn't tell anybody record anything, fucked around. People were just having fun and forgot to really, really record something. Second time really made a big deal. A lot of photographers and videographers, they had some decent stuff, but it was lackluster because of, to the extent of what my event presented, which was a, a fully immersive indoor music festival where every single room felt like a different fucking environment downstairs, felt like, rave room glow room and this other place out indoor artsy out um, room over here art gallery over here and so now when i had this experience where i'm opening up different rooms at different times and all these things and this time i'm sitting down the videographer team and being like all right at this time we're going to open these doors at this time we're going to open these doors and then i want you to go in and out of each room and make sure you show the e that the changing of different environments, right? And letting them know the intent and what I want to communicate, that footage was far better and far more immersive than anything anybody else had caught because they were ready for it. And they and they were they they were shooting with intent versus let me just capture shit. And most people are just capturing shit. Got you. So I should definitely talk to my team and all of us get in the same page of like, we need to capture the environment of what's going on and how we want to present this story the way from my brain and combine with me. Yes. You will make your work infinitely easier by going in with the plan and then working from there versus just let's capture some random stuff and then let's try to do a puzzle piece together. Ow.